So here we got a Chinese 3000 watt hub motor kit. We're gonna put it on this uh, hardtail. Uh, it's got a disc brake mount. It's got this nice MTX 33 wheel. It's a 26 inch. So it's nice and beefy. It won't, it won't break too fast compared to a thin single wall rim. Nice big spokes, uh, probably 12 gauge. I'm not totally sure. Wires coming out of the hub here. Not much room between here and here to put a disc caliper, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, pretty heavy. Other side, we have a five-speed freewheel, which isn't very good. Uh, this bike's eight-speed. It'd be nice to stick an eight-speed freewheel on here, but then we're running into the axle width problem. So I might just leave this on and run it one gear because we don't really care about gears. Have an Amorg lithium ion battery pack uh 3000 watt 72 volt model number awj 72243000 we got the controller here all the wires hanging out uh there's the model number there i guess it's not really a model number but whatever you know this chinese crap and uh what controls do we have for this any Then we got the, uh, the sensors and the, the whiskey throttle. Pretty cheap, but uh, we can uh, change it out later for something different, like a thumb throttle or something. <clears throat> Speed sensors, magnets, some hardware. Other grip, hard as rock. Yeah, we'll uh, see what we can do with this. All right, so we got the wheel mounted in the frame quickly. Uh, the spacing of the hub is about 140 millimeters, which is totally wrong. Like, cause all mountain bikes are, or all quick release mountain bikes are 135 millimeters. Who knows why they need it that wide. But with this aluminum frame, which you don't want to do with aluminum, you have to spread it out. You have to pull it apart just a bit, 2.5 millimeters each side to pop this in there and it's a fight and then even then it doesn't fully seat in the dropouts we can get it up a bit higher than that but not much uh we've been told to file the dropouts and whatever we got this bike for 100 bucks so it's not the end of the world to start cutting apart the frame but it's just something i really don't like to do uh but to make it fit right we might do that for now we're just going to leave it uh disc brake line up we're actually looking not bad here maybe this is some of the reason for the extra width uh, we got almost a finger of space between there, which is great. And then we'll get a disc on. We'll see how that lines up. Uh, no way you're getting a bigger freewheel in there. Yeah. Like, you got nothing. So you're pretty much five speed or bust. Uh, maybe even put a single speed on there. Who cares? Get rid of the derailleur. Um, yeah, we're going to get the tire on and stuff and try and mount it up. All right, so, so we got the tire on the disc. It's just a normal six bolt disc. Um, this uh, wire coming out of here is it's it's very close in in the to the frame and to the disc, and there's just not much space. The ones that come out of the end of the axle I, I like much more, but this is there's quite a lot of wires in there, so I don't think they could have fit that. Um, right now we're gonna file the dropouts down a bit just to get it set in better because these are really dinky dropouts compared to this big axle. So we're gonna try that and then go from there. We have the derailleur and brake off and chain just to, so it's easier to drop in because it's a fight. So, so the dropouts have been filed more square to fit the square feeling look of the axle. So we're gonna try that, see if it drops in there better, gives us more of a bite with the nut. So here's a better view of the axle sitting in there and how it pretty much goes right to the bottom and gets a much better uh, seat. All right, so here we are. This is an 18 inch hardtail frame. Uh, the bag just fits. It's very tight in there. 
wires coming out here. We don't know where we're gonna put the controller yet. We might put a rack on it to put the controller on there or something, I don't know yet. Uh, got this uh, eight speed setup on a five speed freewheel. We're just gonna leave that and see how it go works. Uh, brake is set up all right. Uh, really for this speed of an e-bike, we're gonna end up putting a four piston hydraulic brake on it. This is just temporary to see if it works. Uh, it's just a mechanical with a six inch rotor and we're gonna upgrade that six inch rotor also to a eight inch or 203 millimeter rotor. So yeah, that's where we're at. So here's the screen setup, it's color and it has this uh, button and that connector. And here, this is the controller with all the wires coming out of it in this bag. Oh, cool, it's in a bag, but this Velcro is out to goddamn lunch. Uh, so you have to do a wrap around and then you have to stick it to itself on the bag, which makes no sense because the bag has to be up against the seat post or wherever the hell you're putting this. So here we put a, a back rack on it that has clearance for the disc brake. Uh, it's gonna hold the controller that has crappy Velcro. Uh, this guy's all in here looking a bit better. Um, here's the controller or the uh, screen. Even has a check engine light. The uh, buttons here. Nothing's hooked up yet other than just the screen and the battery. But yeah, uh, looks like it's gonna work pretty well. It's just rubbing on the wires there. Yeah, uh, tomorrow we're gonna hopefully finish it up and get it on the road. So with this 2000 watt motor, we've uh, switched the design a bit. Uh, we're not really happy with the size of these. We think they're gonna cause problems with these dropouts. We've seen them snap before in pictures of people with high torque or high wattage uh, motors. So we're gonna make this out of quarter inch steel. Yeah. Uh, this is just a, a template. We're gonna make that, and that's where the axle goes through right there. But then on top of that, we're gonna weld a bar that goes all the way down to here, uh, another piece of metal that goes all the way down to around here that also has teeth on it to grip the frame so that this can't shift like that because that's what's gonna snap in here. So we're gonna try that, and it's gonna be hard to make, but it's a bunch of custom fab and hopefully it'll be nice and strong. So for this PAS sensor, did I get that right? Yeah, PAS sensor. It goes in there in the bottom bracket. And as you see here, there's not enough room for it. So this is a square taper bottom bracket. We need to buy a longer one, maybe 127 millimeter one. This might be 118, 113, even 107 millimeter. They come in all these different sizes. At my local bike shop, they're only $10, so it's really not that big of a deal. We'll, we'll put one of those on. It'll mess up the chain line of the cranks, but let's be honest, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be pedaling this bike a whole lot anyway. You're gonna just be using the motor. So it's, it's gonna push the crank out this way, and the de front derailleur will be off and all that. We're probably gonna take off two of the chain rings anyway and just run it as a one by, and then this will be all fit in there. So for the sensor, which I don't really like the design of, uh, we've chosen, this is a one 13 millimeter width bottom bracket. We found this 122.5 and this goes on there and fits pretty well. But then this also butts up against here pretty well so that it can spin and get the sensor reading. So hopefully that works. And uh, we'll show you once it's done. Okay, so here's the sensor on the frame. You can see it uh, turns. If you give it a good. So there it's turning. Then you get the crank put on. Lots of space in there. Yeah, it's close to that wire. Yeah, the, uh, those rivets almost catch the wire, so we'll see about that. Might have to change the crank on this one. So here we have it. It's completed now. 
the hardest part was this making these brackets for leverage. Um, so yeah, 2000 watt motor, 3000 watt motor. It's really, really fast. It goes max speed right now is 84 kilometers an hour. 86 kilometers an hour. So it's got a throttle, got this screen, has a lot of options. Um, those buttons there. It works really well. Yeah, I take the governor off. So yeah, this is illegal on most roads. If you go over 32 kilometers an hour or 20, five miles an hour or something, 20. Here's the gov governor's off. Pretty fast. Brakes can't handle it, that's for sure. I'm gonna turn it off just for safety. Um, so yeah, we put a wider bond bracket on it, got that pedal sensor in there. I don't really like to pedal assist, it's kind of sketchy. So here's the part that you really need to be careful with or make something good with. So this is a quarter inch plate of steel, the quarter inch bar, everything's quarter inch steel. Uh, this bracket has a uh, hole in it for the axle that's just a bit bigger than that axle and it's the same shape. So when the axle tries to shift, the bar doesn't move and it definitely doesn't move because it's anchored way down here. Uh, it has a pipe clamp on it to keep it even more secure and from vibrating, but uh, those flaps of metal rest against the upper and bottom parts of the frame, but really the, the main part is the upper because it's gonna wanna turn down. Uh, turn or I think it, the axle, the wheel's gonna wanna turn straight or turn around this way clockwise. Yeah. And the axle is going to want to go backwards because the torque is transferring into the frame. But now we have it transferred in this bracket that transfers in the frame way down here. These, these dropouts on aluminum frames have broken in the past. We've seen pictures. So uh, it's, it's very important to make something more secure like this. I can't, I can't give you the dimensions and, and sizes of all this because it doesn't matter. This won't fit on every frame. This is custom to this frame. So you, you have to make your own. And it's secured up here with a disc bolt. It's secured here with the nut. And it's also secured here mm -hmm. with that, which isn't a big deal. But the big security is down here in the axle. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any more questions about that, just let us know in the comments. Um, but overall, one hell of a bike. The motor's really way too much for the frame. We'll put up some videos later of uh, it riding. It is just insane. It's way too fast. When you when you touch the throttle, it picks up the front wheel off the ground. So it's it's really unsafe. Off road use only. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.